video I'm going to be teaching you guys about the optimum headphone target and how to read headphone measurements. So this is the optimum headphone target. Um, we can see it's got a soundstage scoop. Um, it's got a soundstage scoop at 3K. It's got a bright open treble at 9K. It's got a bass boost, a boomy bass boost. At, um, you know, over here, bass, 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 bass. Okay, so we got a bass boost, a nice warm bass boost. Okay, we've got a warm bass boost uh, of 10 dBs. Remember that you boost by 10 dBs. The sound stage scoop is around 3 to 4 negative 3 to 4 dBs. You don't want to scoop any more than that. And diffuse field level treble is very bright and clear, so we don't want to boost much more than 0 dBs. So diffuse field is, is bright. It's a little bit shouty, which is the reason why you scoop right here uh, for diffuse field measurements. And then uh, diffuse field is also very thin, which is the reason why we do a 10 dB uh, bass boost, a warm 10 dB bass boost. So, uh, you know, it's too thin. Uh, I mean, it's, it's too thin and it's too shouty. Too shouty, so that's the reason why we do a scoop here. Uh, so, for example, here is a website where we can change, we can look at all these different headphones. We can look at all these different headphones. And we can change the target to diffuse field. Uh, custom match. Okay, so we can type in, uh, for example, the DT990s, and um, we can see the DT990s have very harsh treble, but um, if we look at the worn pads, uh, ear pads on headphones can drastically change the sound. Most headphones and IEMs have like dampeners, which can dampen like treble spikes and stuff. So when we look at the worn ear pads, we can see the worn ear pads in blue. The worn ear pads in blue have a much smoother treble. So these are the headphones that I use that I recommend. Um, we can see they, they have a very smooth they have a very smooth response, but when you first get them out of the box, they're very, they're very harsh in the treble, but they smooth out over time with the worn ear pads. Okay, so if we look here, you know, they have a bass boost, they have a, a sound stage scoop at 3K, and they have a, a clear open treble. Okay, so again, that's what we're looking for. 3K scoop, bass boost, and a diffuse field level treble, and diffuse field level right here. Diffuse field, diffuse field, scooped, boosted. Okay, so uh, if we look at this on the, if we look at this headphone, the DT990s, if we look at the DT990s on the diffuse field target, we can see the DT990s lack a little bit of sub bass. They could use a little bit more sub bass. Um, but they have everything else. Everything else is correct. Everything else is correct uh, above. You know, it's got the sound stage scoop. It's got the bright, open, clear treble. It's got the warm uh, fundamentals. Oops, it's got the warm fundamentals. It's just, it just lacks a little bit of sub bass, a little bit of sub bass. Okay. So now, so since this is so close to the target, the DT 990s, we can basically use the DT 990 worn pads as a reference. So this is a reference, so now we can look up other headphones. Uh, you, if you're into headphones, you, you know about like the HD 650s, the 
Sennheiser HD 650s. So that the Sennheiser HD 650s are known are known for being dark in the treble. So we can see they don't have nearly as much treble as the DT 990s. So this is the Sennheiser Veil. That lack of treble right there is the Sennheiser Veil. That is a veil. It sounds dark. It sounds dark in the treble. We can see also, again, in blue, in blue is the HD 650s. They don't have as much bass. Okay, so the DT 990s, the DT 990s in red, the DT 990s in red have a, a, a much more bass. Okay? So the main difference between the biodynamic DT and the HD 650s is bass and treble extension. DT990s have brighter treble. DT990s have more bass. So bass, treble, wide is sound stage. Honestly, the DT990s are just better tuned. They're just better tuned. They're better tuned. Okay. So we can look up. Um, some people say, well, why don't you get the Biodynamic DT 1990s? The 1990s, those are more expensive. The 1990s are more expensive than the 990s. But if we look here, we can see um, the 990s in blue. The 1990s in blue. The uh, 1990s in blue. The 1990s in blue have this huge 4K cut. This huge 8K peak, this 9K cut. They don't have as much bass. So the DT 990s have more bass and a smoother treble. The DT 990s in red have a smoother treble. Okay, they don't have the 4K cut, the 8K peak, or the 9K cut. And they have more bass. So, uh, sometimes, a lot of times, uh, more expensive headphones like the Biodynamic DT-1990 are actually worse than the cheaper DT-990s. So here we can see, like, all of the defects in the headphones in these comparisons. Okay, so this is really cool, right? This can give you a lot of confidence in the equipment that you're using. Okay, so, uh, what about some really expensive headphones? The HD800S. Okay, so the Sennheiser HD800S are very expensive headphones, thousands of dollars. While the DT990s are like $250. So if we look at the HD800S in blue, it has analytical bass, which means the bass is not um, prominent enough. So this has like flat, lifeless, dead bass. Um, you, you, you really do want a bass boost. A uh, flat bass is actually really bad. Okay, uh, we can see they both have a soundstage scoop. Both headphones have a soundstage scoop at 3K. They both have the soundstage scoop, but the DT990s have more bass impact, more bass emphasis. Once we get into the treble, we can see um, this huge 9K cut on the uh, HD800S headphones. So the expensive headphones, we can see they, they have this 6K peak, 6K peak, 9K cut. So if we look at that. So this is really bad. See that? That's really bad. Okay, we want it to be smooth. We don't want this huge peak or this huge cut. So we can see um, the DT990s are smooth right through that. There's a, so there's a um, 6 kilohertz peak, a 6 kilohertz peak on the HD800S, a 9 kilohertz cut, and then it peaks back out. So it has a dark spot a fatiguing 6 kilohertz peak. They have the same sound stage. And the DT-990s have more deep bass impact, more bass impact. So 
so HD 800 has a have flat analytical uh, lifeless bass DT 990s have fun impactful powerful bass um, DT 990s have a smooth open clear treble HD 800 have a 6 kilohertz peak a 9 kilohertz cut problem and then it peaks out back up here again so this is bad okay so oh, this is this is just bad. You see the result? This one cut resulted in two peaks. So this is just bad. This is just bad, okay? So that's a multi-thousand dollar headphone versus some cheapo $150 DT990s. So we can keep doing this. You know, we could keep like looking up headphones like the AK K7, uh, K712. Okay, so we can see, we can see the, the differences between these two headphones. Okay. So the K712 are very warm. They have this 2K peak. This peak right here, this cut right here. So these are all defects on the K712. So this is how we can see all these defects, tonality problems. 